Hey guys, welcome back. So now we have implemented link tracking. Now let's go ahead and provide an endpoint that can give us some statistics about how our links have been visited. So what we're gonna do is here in our bookmarks, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna have at bookmarks, we wanna have dot get. So we wanna get when a user goes to stats and let's have a function, it's gonna be get stats. So for this one, we basically are going to be returning a list and that list is going to be containing a link and how many times it was visited. Now we're going to make a query that will give us all the links for the current login user. So we can do that by doing bookmark. Then we want to do query filter by. So here, let's protect the endpoints, make sure we have the user. So that means we can get the current logged in user just as normal by doing get JWT identity. So here we can just do bookmark, we can do user ID. This ID should be the current user. So if we want all of them, we can do dot all. All right, and that's gonna give us all of them. So now to get the links, we're just gonna loop over them. And for each of them, so we're going to be getting the, the link stats from each of these items and then we're going to be adding it to our main array. So if for each of the items, we're going to create a new, a new link variable and that's going to contain a dictionary. So it's going to have visits. So for the visits, we basically are going to be checking link.visits. Now for the link, the link here is going to be item. So let's also get the URL, all right. Let's also send back the ID, just so we need to work with it somehow. We can also send back our short URL. So short. So now that we have this, we can just append it to our data. So we can do data dot append. We're gonna be appending there our new link, and then outside the loop, then we can just return JSONify. Then we can just do data here. Then we can save that one to data. Then we can just return two hundred. So HTTP two hundred. Okay. And save that. Let's remove this. And now, if we go to our postman and try to go to slash bookmarks slash stats. In the real world, we need to, to refresh that without having to tell the user that it expired. So we need to we need to refresh it automatically for the user. So now, if I try that, you can see that now we get all our links sent back to us and how many times it were, they were visited. So that's how we implement the stats endpoint. So in the next one, I'm going to be showing you how to do some custom error hand some error handling on our API as we are getting close to winding up. So thanks guys for watching. If it helped you, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you later.